This is the video update for Tuesday, May 6th, 2022. For the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. One of the first things that we canceled back two years ago um, was an in-person visit in Lincoln from our affiliate community minister, Reverend Kimberly Davis. At the time uh, the pandemic hit, Kimberly was serving as a sabbatical coverage minister in White Plains, New York, which was one of the first places that was hit by the pandemic in the United States. And so through my conversations with her, we had an, had an early and front row seat uh, to the, the first couple weeks of lockdowns and quarantines. She was supposed to come out and visit May of 2020, and since then, we've actually rescheduled that visit several times and had several different variants um, interrupt it or postpone it. But uh, it looks like this time it is definitely happening. <laughs> so uh, Kimberly is visiting between May 11th and 19th of, of this month. So coming out next week and staying for about a week and a half. And while she's here, um, she'll meet with a whole bunch of people in Lincoln, including members of our congregation's leadership and our worship team, and talking about what comes next with her affiliation with our congregation. We'll also have um, four public events during that time. So those public events are in your e-blast, and, and we'll put them written in the description of this video. But I just want to read through them, because it's, it's an exciting set of things to do right at the end of our congregational year here. The first is an event that we're calling Good Friends, Sweet Songs, and Deviled Eggs. This will be Saturday, May 14th from 6 to 8 p.m., where we will join together at 6300 A Street for a potluck and sing-along. So bring your favorite dish to share and your voice. We'll learn some new songs and sing some old favorites. Don't worry if you're not a singer, every voice is welcome. That'll then be followed by our usual Sunday morning service on May 15th. Kimberly will be preaching on a singing revolution, which she describes as the tools of justice are many and varied, but none is so beautiful as many voices raised in song. We will hear stories of musical resistance and learn some new songs to inspire our work of justice, equity, and compassion. At least some of those songs that we will be learning on Sunday are the songs that participants learned on Saturday night. So if you want to get a jump start on that Sunday morning service, come on Saturday night. On Tuesday, May 17th at 7 p.m., we'll turn our attention to the hymnal. Uh, Kimberly will lead a, a workshop entitled Hymns Under the Microscope, where we'll look at our hymns and see how the moral arc of the universe has continued to bend towards justice. You know, Singing the Living Tradition, our gray hymnal, was published in 1985, and so in the last generation, some of those hymns have held up really well and some have held up uh, in more complicated ways, and so we'll take some time to really dig into what the language used in some of those hymns is and why it matters. And then last, Speaking of off-delayed, um, on Thursday, May 19th, we will hold an event called My Heart is Ready, a Universalist Revival. Now, way back in October of 2019, we held a tent revival in the Universalist um, vein at, at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, and we said then that it was the first annual one. You know, it has taken three years to do a second one. Um, the pandemic has interrupted it, but our hope is that this is the second annual event. Um, Kimberly will be participating, I'll be participating, um, our music director Bob Fusen and the A Street Band will be participating. It's going to be a great, great night. Um, so I hope you come out to this stuff. It's it's really exciting. You know, one of the one of the pieces that is more apparent probably in my life than in the life of the congregation is that we um, we affiliated with community with Kimberly's community ministry four years ago and in that four years 
um, Reverend Debus has become one of the most sought after and respected voices talking about arts, music, and worship in Unitarian Universalism. Um, she is she's widely known and holds workshops and guest preaching across the country. And in each one of those workshops and guest preaching um, gigs, the, the first line of her bio is that the Reverend Kimberly Debus is the affiliate community minister at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. That's an important connection for us, and, and our hope in this visit is that the congregation can grow to know her as, as I have um, over my ministry, um, and that she can grow to know the congregation better. Um, we're looking forward to it. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see what these events are like and what some of these meetings are going to be like, and, uh, and I hope to see many of you at them. Have a great weekend, everybody.